Hi folks, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiatorius. So this is a relatively brief review and it's of a piece of equipment that belongs to one of my fellow club members rather than myself. And it is the Neyman Fencing Back of Head Protector um, for HEMA, for HEMA fencing masks and all fencing masks in theory. And uh, I'm going to keep this review really brief um, and basically say why why do manufacturers keep making something that's intended to go into a round hole square? Um, I've said this before in terms of the Spez back of hair protector and I know lots of people are using the Spez back of hair protector and I know lots of people are managing to use this but seriously guys, is the best thing that you can come up with a flat object with a square top? Look at the shape of someone's head, yeah? It's round, it's round this way, it's round that way. And look at the shape of the back of a fencing mask, okay? How do you look at this and look at the shape of someone's head and come up with this? It's lazy, it's such lazy design. And I know there's companies out there um, like Destroyer Mods and in fact like Leon Paul as well who are actually making things which are head shaped i.e. round. Why make something that is flat and square? It's ridiculous. Who has a flat and square head? Um, and just to demonstrate, and this incidentally is going back to the manufacturer because my um, fellow club member is very displeased with it, you can obviously physically squeeze this thing into the back of a fencing mask and that's what they end up looking like. But <sighs> It, literally, it's like hammering a square peg into a round hole. It's such a squeeze to get this into there. He can't physically fit this into his mask, and I'm not surprised. I use a medium-sized mask, usually, as does he. And these things, whilst you might be able to squeeze them into a large or an extra-large mask, they just don't fit into medium masks, let alone small masks. Good luck with that. This thing's huge! Look! I could use it as a freaking breastplate um, or like, a, I don't know, like a, a head cushion if I'm going on a long distance flight. I, it's ridiculously huge. In terms of the build quality of it, it's actually good. It's such a shame because, you know, the stitching's good. It's got some padding. It's got some hard plates in there. It's not, it's not badly made. It's just really idiotically designed. It's like so lazy. And I have to say, I'm sorry, name and fencing but you have a habit of copying spares and like doing your own take on what spares do. In this case, spares have a freaking idiotic back of head protector and all you've done is gone and made something that looks like spares's, but spares's was rubbish in the first place. Why not make something that's actually made for purpose? There's a couple of other things to say about this as well, which unfortunately are also negative. Um, the first thing is when this thing is actually in the mask, it is so long. Look how far, I mean, look how far down my back it goes. Okay, assuming it comes up to the top of the head there, it means that if I want to turn my head, I've got this ridiculously long extension coming down the back. And <coughs> some people might say, yeah, it's great that it protects the back of the head. It is, um, but you know, a giant bucket would also protect my head, but it wouldn't enable me to fence very well. And it's the same thing with this. The problem is, if I'm pointing straight forward with my shoulders in uh, pointing straight at the camera and my head pointing straight at the camera, yeah, no problem. As soon as I turn the head, oh, yeah, I've got a neck and I've got shoulders. That's not going to work very well, is it? Think about it, guys. Um, and for anybody doing rapier or sabre or, or anything where you're got the body turned far more on sideways, yeah, good luck with that. It just doesn't work well. The final thing to say is my student um, waited an extra amount of time from name and fencing to not have a logo on it. Uh, he waited, I believe, three months to receive his product because he'd ordered a, a non-regulation model with no logo on it. And what did he get? He got a standard one with a freaking logo on it. It's just idiotic. And this is not cheap, you know, all in, this cost about 60 euros. 60 euros for really, what is it? Some fabric, some plastic inside, and a logo when he ordered one without a logo. And it took three months to get that. Seriously? And it doesn't even work. It doesn't even fit in the mask. And it doesn't enable you to turn the head. It's just rubbish in every way. Lazy, expensive, it's a piece of crap. There's your review. Cheers, folks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, follow us on Facebook, 
You can buy t-shirts through Spreadshirt, support us on Patreon or follow us on Pinterest. Thank you.